Hello YouTubers, this is Dub and the Dam. Um, I'm back from holidays. Uh, thank you all for those very nice comments that you leave. Um, I'm very amazed that actually I don't get the kind of, you know, oh gosh you're an asshole and uh, go away with you and your pipe uh, comments on my video. Um, it's, it's really amazing how good most of the comments are. So thank you. In fact they all are fantastic. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, the last question I had about a month ago that needs answering is what is a pipe cake? What does it look like? So I'm going to endeavour to show you with a very bad lighting system. And there you go. So, perhaps you can see what a good cake looks like. Okay. That's it there. And you can see it's beginning to flake off the sides. You can see that slight ridge there on the inside. You can see it's beginning to flake off the side a little bit. Okay, but it's it's a good millimeter, millimeter and a half thick. And in fact, that edge that's just been eroded away there, you can see almost the bare wall of the pipe. Okay, so that's what a good cake looks like. I am breaking in the cake of a pipe. At the moment, I just had some Momo Yama in this, my very, and you can see very little cake there, and you can see a powdery surface. Now, I haven't just cleaned this pipe um, as yet. I'm just going to clean it now. There we go. I put in pipe cleaner like that just to wipe that off. Fold it over pipe cleaner, and you can see there that it's fairly clean. Okay, you can see it's just a powdery coating. Okay. And that is a pipe uh, cake being built up. Okay, so that's what for Ahmed in uh, Malaysia. That's what a pipe cake looks like, and it looks like when it's not a pipe cake and it's still building up. The other question he asked me was salt and alcohol treatment. What you do is you take some salt of a cheap nature, not the expensive stuff, and you fill the bowl. You also fill the shank because a lot of stuff builds up there too. So you fill the shank and the bowl with sort of cheap bottom shelf salt that you get off uh, in the supermarket on the bottom shelf. Okay, not the expensive Mediterranean stuff. Okay, and then after you fill the bowl about a third full you take a big pen like this or an eye droplet. Okay, big pens are very handy. You have a little hole just here where it lets oxygen in. And you take your bottle of alcohol and you just take a few droplets and as you dip the pen in some droplets will kind of three or four droplets will move up into here after you have the pipe filled about a third you put in a couple of drops by just tapping or touching into the salt you fill it again another third to about here okay you take another four or five drops and you just let them drip into the salt there possibly touching the salt so that by osmosis it pulls towards the salt okay then you fill it up almost to the top just about a quarter a half a mil uh, uh, five or three or four millimeters just below the rim okay and then you take the remaining seven or eight drops so in total that's about 15 16 drops of alcohol that you drop into the salt okay and then you take a pipe rest and you let it sit like that for about 24 hours and what will happen is the salt inside will start to turn brown and then you just scrub it all out and you clean it all out with a pipe knife or equivalent you clean it all out of here as well where you've also when you fill the salt here you got in about three or four drops in there okay so you clean the salt out with the drops of alcohol from there and you clean the salt out here okay and then you let it rest another 24 or 48 hours after that. So it takes about two to three days to do the salt alkaline treatment on your pipe. I hope that explains it. The other thing you can do, and the quick method if you're paranoid about the salt, is you can fill the bowl and even the shank a little bit with some cotton wool uh, or cotton balls. Not Q-tips, but just cotton wool or cotton balls. And that's will have a similar effect and again with your um, eye droplet or big pen with the hole covered here you put in your drops of tobacco in there 
and in there in the cotton wool. Okay, that's it. Do it uh, no more than once a year. If the pipe is sour and tasting vinegary, you might need to do it twice, maybe three times if it's really, really bad. That's it. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to stop now. That's two questions I've had on my mind for quite a long time, especially for Ahmed in Malaysia. Two very good questions. Um, and I'm going to stop this video now. I'm going to continue on with another one shortly. It's good to be home. I hope that answers, answers a question with regard to cakes and salt alcohol treatment. Look it up on the internet. There's an awful lot in particular on uh, alcohol treatment on the web. I hope you have a sweet smoke. Bye for now. Part 2. Come.